And this is the Excalibur dehydrator. And it opens like this, sent to me by my sister Mary. This was a present, so I was so lucky. These, uh, on a good day, they cost a little bit over $100. And they usually hold, see here's one tray. And I'll show you some more trays in a minute. But if you're putting soup in, you can just put the, let me take that tray out. Put the whole thingy right in there like that. And then in an hour, it'll be nice and warm. I still uh, do it at 104 degrees, a little bit less than 105, because anything over 105 kills the enzymes. Now, some raw foodists go all the way up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, but uh, there's some debate about that. So if you just keep it lower than 105, you'll be sure in getting all the enzymes you need for your body. So that's one thing you can do your, with your dehydrator. And then um, you could dry some bananas or other fruits. So I slice mine thin and lengthways because I like they dry faster. And also um, I take them out earlier than 24 hours because I like them chewy. But if you want them crisp, you could slice them up uh, in little round chunks and then dehydrate for until they your desired Christmas. Feel free to put a little lemon on top there. You could also dehydrate some pumpkin seeds, which I just did from our Halloween pumpkin. And they come out really nice and crispy. You could put some sea salt on there. You can use these for pumpkin seed cheese, which is incredible. And um, you could put some oil on if you want. I didn't do that, but you could. And then if you notice, these tabs are coated with a piece of wax paper. This is uh, recyclable wax paper, unbleached, uh, non-toxic when, when incinerated, landfill safe, or you c uh, made from unbleached fi fibers, will not contaminate groundwater. And it just costs about a dollar or two in your store. Or you could um, use freezer paper, which a lot of people do. And then also you can make, on my HaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog. I make a lot of crackers, especially for my husband Kevin, because he needs to eat flaxseed for his blood pressure, to keep his blood pressure low. So every day he has flaxseed. He doesn't like to eat flaxseed raw, so we make him these um, salsa flax crackers, which are really good. And I kind of hate to give them away to him every week because they're so good. And all this is is salsa and flaxseed. So if you didn't want to um, use raw salsa, you could probably just get a jar of salsa, pour flaxseed in, and then dehydrate these for 24 hours. It says how to do it on the blog, but you would flip it over halfway. And can I show you, Kevin? This is Kevin that eats salsa flax crackers and he's on the blog too. Do you want to eat yours today Kevin right now? Uh, not right now. Thank okay. You. <laughs> and then just a few other things. You, oh this one I do a lot. You can melt raw honey in your dehydrator and it doesn't lose the enzymes that way because you're keeping it um, less than 105 degrees. Also in here I've got some cacao nibs ground up and some coconut oil and some cocoa butter and what I would do is just put the whole thing in here like this. Really, I usually put it in a bowl, but um, today, since there's only a little honey left, I'm doing it this way. And you can put the whole thing in there in about one hour. Depending on your dehydrator, it'll melt, and it's great. And then again, this is the Excalibur dehydrator, and this one, where's my scissors? I lost my scissors. This one is the American Harvest. Now, I got this. I was so lucky I got it at a thrift store for $6. And this one right now, I'm, um, I'm going to dry some cilantro in here. So you see I've got my paper, and I'm just cutting up the cilantro, and that's all you do. And then you would want to cover the whole thing. And then, if you want, you could chop it up in your food processor next and make it really ground up. I'll show you a few things that I keep dehydrated. So we grow chives in our garden. So these are ground up chives, which I just have all year. I mean, I use them fresh, and then when the winter comes here in Bozeman, Montana, um, 
you know, we obviously don't have an outside garden, so we grind some of our things up. Here's some more, here's some cilantro ground up and showed you the parsley. And then over here, here's some mint that I dehydrated. And these are greens. Um, this is six bags of greens. Dehydrated and then ground up in my food processor. Greens meaning uh, arugula, spinach, lettuce, parsley, romaine. And I dehydrated some sage in my dehydrator. California sage. Some thistle leaves so I could have thistle tea during... Um, Allergy season. I dehydrate granola. <laughs> I have more than I thought, huh, Kevin? <laughs> and then I dehydrated and chopped up chia seeds from Joshua Tree chia seeds and sage. And that's about all I can think of right now, but that is a ton of things. You can think of anything you want. Anything you want to dehydrate, dried, dried pears, apples, um, Anything you want, pineapple, you can do in your dehydrator. So, and then this is, this one has this many layers. So it's really nice if you want something with layers. But if you're thinking of buying one, um, I would probably get this one because you can take them out and put your soup in and everything. So that's it, how to do dehydrated things and how to make leek pea soup from Dorothy and Kevin today at TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog.